I'm Alex zaharov Royt, and you're watching me on Lorge.com. And today I want to talk about Windows 7. Now what I have in my hands here is a Toshiba tablet PC. It's both uh, able to use a stylus, so a pen, but you can use your fingers as well. Sadly, it's only single touch, not multi-touch like the Apple iPhone, but multi-touch screens are coming and Windows 7 will be big on multi-touch. And in fact, the reason that uh, that's the case is because touch is something that you know, has become quite natural with computer screens, and you sort of wonder why we haven't been able to do it for years on our computers. And, and one of the reasons why tablet PCs also never really took off was because not only was the tablet interface not quite as polished as it could have been, something that's had big changes in Windows 7, but we lacked the ability, for the most part, to actually use our fingertips, the most natural pointing mechanism of, of all, rather than having to use a stylus, which is not as natural. And if you have to put your hand to the screen and do things, you know, it's just not, not as natural as putting your hand on a sheet of paper. So you're going to see big, big changes in the way that people are able to interact with their computers. And Windows 7 packs it all together. It's got the solid foundation of Windows Vista in terms of greater security and better hardware compatibility for the latest gadgets. Obviously, older gadgets are going to have issues if they were only XP compatible. But of course, Microsoft has the XP mode, which deals with a lot of those problems. But we've also got uh, the ability for Windows 7 to work better on older hardware. Windows 7 is the first version of Windows that requires less memory and less processing power to run. That's almost uh, unbelievable and revolutionary. And whilst Linux uh, fans will laugh and say, well, Linux has done that for years, the sad reality for Linux people and Mac people is that the majority of the world, 90% plus, uses Windows. So you can go and be as happy as you want about Linux and Mac and use it, but uh, chances are most of the people you come across will be using Windows, and they're going to want to upgrade to Windows 7 when they want to see it. I mean, Microsoft, when they launched Windows Vista, the campaign was, the wow starts now. And I remember writing an article saying, the hour starts now, because it really did. But Windows 7 is the version of Vista that we should have had from day one. And there's many exciting things, but if you're going to play with it, the release candidate will be available for all on May the 5th. 